Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll tell you how to convert BCD numbers into XS3 numbers. So BCD stands for binary coded decimal numbers. It means they are decimal numbers, base 10 numbers from 0 to 9. But only while writing, instead of writing 0 to 9 digits, we use binary representation. So both BCD and XS3 uses binary representation of numbers. So why binary codes are needed? Binary codes are needed because they enable the representation and processing of numerical data in binary format. BCD, they are also called as 8421 and XS3 numbers. They both are binary codes. They are widely used for encoding decimal numbers in computing and digital electronics. Then why it is necessary to convert BCD into XS3? Because it is used in systems like calculators, digital displays and error detection circuits where efficient number handling is required. So first let's see how to write BCD numbers. So first I'll write decimal numbers, then I'll write BCD equivalent of them and then I'll write XS3. XS3 means what? BCD number plus 3. So XS3 equivalent of 0 is 3. XS3 equivalent of 1 is 4. Simply number plus 3 is XS3 number. So decimal numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Decimal numbers are from 0 to 9. Binary equivalent of 0 is 0, 0, 0. I'll use different color. 1 is triple 0, 1. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. 7 is 0, triple 1. 8 is 1, triple 0. And 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. Here in binary representation, it is 2 raised to 0. That is 1. 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 raised to 3 is 8. So see, 8 is written as, this is weighted code. Decimal Binary, BCD, they are weighted codes. Whereas XS3 is not weighted code. Weighted code means for every position some weight is associated. So here how 9 is written? 8 plus 1 is 9. So under 9, 1 is written and below 1, here 1 is written. 3 is what? 2 plus 1 is 3. So see here, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now XS3 means what? Any number plus 3. So, XS3 equivalent of 0 is 3. So, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So, 0, 1, 0, 0. 2 plus 3 is 5. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. In this way, we will complete this XS3. So, see here, BCD numbers are from 0 to 9 and XS3 numbers are from 3 to 1, 1, 0, 0 is 12. So, XS3 numbers are from 3 to 12 and here they are from 0 to 9. Now, let's see how to design a circuitry which will convert BCD numbers to XS3. It means if I will apply BCD input, it will give me XS3 equivalent of this. So, for that we will use KMAP for every uh, bit. So, here I will write this is my E0, E1, E2 and E3 and these are my B0, B1, B2 and B3. So my input is B3, B2, B1, B0 and my output is E3, E2, E1 and E0. So let's start with E3. So for E3, see number of bits are 4. So I'll have to take K map which will have 16 cells. 2 raised to 4 is 16. So I'll have a K map with 16 cells. So 
and here i'll start with msb so b3 b2 b1 b0 b3 b2 b1 b0 we use gray codes here so 00 01 11 10 0 0 0 1 11 10 0 0 0 1 11 10 0 0 1 now we'll put this is for e3 so we will put values of e3 here so here cell numbers are 0 1 2 3 c 0 0 0 0 is what 0 0 0 0 1 is 1 0 0 1 1 is 3 0 0 1 0 is 2 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 we'll put values for this Zero. It is zero. Up to four. Zero, one, two, three, four. E three is zero. Zero, 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 zero. For five, five to nine, it is one. One, 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 and here also it is one. So values are not available for ten to fifteen. So we will mark them as don't care. so don't care is designer's choice to consider it as 1 or 0 now let's make a group so we what we do is we try to make group of more and more number of ones together so here i'll make group of these eight cells and the equation for this is see here in these two column uh, rows what is common b2 is 1 0 so we'll not take b2 b3 is 1 1 So here e three is equals to b three, and here nothing is common. Plus now we will make one chord here, group of fours. So here what is common? B three is different. B two is one. So b two. And what is common here? If value is one, we take variable as it is. If value is zero, we take bar of that variable. So here it is b one, b two. B one plus this one is remaining. So what we can do is we'll make this chord. So here B two and here B zero. So this is an equation for E three. Similarly, we will find out equations for E two, E one, and E zero. So let's find out values of E two, E one, and E zero. So for E two. See here for E two, it is zero, zero, four times one, zero, one, 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 and then four times zeros, so zero, 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 and then it is one. And remaining cells are don't care cells. Now let's. form a group so in kmap we can either make groups of adjacent ones or overlapping ones it means we can fold our kmap here or we can fold our kmap here so see kmap understanding of kmap is very important uh, in my channel you will find video related to kmap where the grouping of ones and grouping of zeros is also shown it means sum of product form and for product of sum forms so here these two ones we can make group called with these two don't care conditions why we are considering don't care conditions because when we make group of more number of ones we'll get reduced equation so so that less number of gates are required so here this group will have here b2 it's same here so b2 and value of b2 is 0 so b2 bar and what is same here B one because B zero is one and zero, so we'll not take B zero. B one is one one, so B one plus this one and these two ones. So here again, B two bar, and what is common here is B zero plus this one is remaining, but we can't make chord. So what we will do? We'll make a Pair of it, 
so here what is common b2 and here there is no comparison so we'll have to take both b1 bar and b0 bar because both of them are zero now for e1 and e0 let's find out equation for e1 so here i can make this one chord and this one chord so e1 is equals to for this chord it is b1 bar b0 bar and here it is plus b1 b0 so this is what a bar b bar plus ab x nor gate so here it is b0 x nor b1 and here i can make group of these eight ones often because they are overlapping so here equation is e0 is equal to here b1 is 0 1 so we can't take b1 this these are same so it is b0 bar e0 is b0 bar so now we have equations for e0 e1 e2 and e3 now let's implement this using gates we have four inputs b0 b1 b2 b3 so i will simply draw here b0 b1 b2 b3 and i'll draw four lines here and b0 b0 b1 b2 b3 what is my e0 e0 is b0 bar so here b0 inverter is my e0 so e0 is equals to b0 bar next is e1 so e1 is b0 x nor b1 so i'll use x nor gate this is my xor gate and bubble is x nor gate this is my e1 and inputs are b0 and b1 so b0 and other input is b1 next is e2 so here i need three and gates and one or gate three and gates and one or gate outputs of three and gates are given to or gate so what are inputs to my first and gate b1 and b2 bar so b1 i'll take directly what is the other input b2 bar so i'll take b2 i'll connect an inverter here and then i'll give it to and gate second is b0 so b0 directly b2 bar so this is my b2 bar i can take it from here or i'll connect one more inverter again b2 bar next is b0 bar so b0 one inverter b0 bar b1 bar b1 one inverter bar and next is b2 so this is implementation of e2 now let's implement e3 for e3 also we need two and gates and one or gate so see here to this or gate inputs are b3 so i'll take b3 directly so this is my b3 b3 is one input for first and gate inputs are b1 and b2 so i'll take b1 and b2 so i'll take b2 from here for second and gate inputs are b0 and b2 so i'll take b0 and i'll take b2 and this is my e3 so when you will implement this circuit on board using these gates and if you will apply some bcd number as a input you will get x axis 3 equivalent of this number let's say my bcd is simple 0 0 0 so automatically here what you will get for b0 e0 is complement of b0 so e0 will become 1 here it is 
x nor so for 0 0 you will get 1 and here this circuit will generate 0 this will also generate 0 you can put these values here for this and gate 1 input is 0 for this and gate 1 input is 0 so obviously their outputs are 0 here also one input is 0 so output is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 you will get output 0 here also for these and gates inputs are 0 b3 is also 0 so e3 is 0 so these two are 0 and these two are 1 so what is this e3 e2 e1 e0 so here it will become 0 0 1 1 so for 0 0 0 0 we will get 0 0 1 1 we, x is 3 equivalent of binary number so you can put any value here and you will find x is 3 equivalent of that number so i hope this video is useful to you thank you so much for watching and do share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching